Minecraft's never gonna be perfect, and the game's textures are proof. Yes, it's been updated a lot, but there are still so many textures that it should replace. Every mob in Minecraft looks the same, but what if every mob in Minecraft had a unique look based on the biome they spawned in? There would be so much more visual variety added from just this one change. Not only that, but Minecraft could take it a step further by giving each biome its own properties. Swamp creatures could poison you, while snowy creatures could freeze you. Maybe mushroom sniffers could even dig up special ancient mushrooms. If you ask me, I'm surprised this hasn't been added yet. Enchanting tables are supposed to be the most magical block in the game. Using this enchanting reimagine pack, we can replace the crummy old table with this one that includes a glowing circle of magic and particles. Then we can use the enchanted books pack to retexture our enchanted books to more easily tell which is which, like fire protection versus frost walker. There are unique designs for not only every enchanted but even their power levels too. Really makes you feel like a wizard. Da mihi porcum. What the? Why does that pig have living animations? Oh, that's right. With the new Fresh Animations Texture Pack, not only does every mob texture and model in the game look cleaner, but as the name implies, they each have unique animations. They can gallop, wiggle their snout, and even watch you with intense suspicion. What? What are you looking at? I'm not gonna do anything. <gasps> Now's my chance. <laughs> Now I've got all the crops. Ah! I'll give them back! These chests aren't fooling anyone. Once opened, we can all see that the inside is just a layer of black pixels. That's why they should be replaced with these from Chests Reimagined. This pack retextures and remodels chests and trap chests to look like the functional boxes they're supposed to be. And the Ender Chest actually has a visible visible portal on the inside, which is way better than whatever this hole is supposed to be. Almost feels like I could jump right through it. <laughs> Whoa! Evil pets? Well, actually, they're just part of the larger packs for better dogs and better cats. Cats have had their varying breeds for a while now, but outside of the Persian, they're just color swaps. So it's amazing that these packs give so many unique models to not only our feline friends, but our puppy pals as well. You've even got hostile breeds like the Cerberus dog and Skeleton Cat. With so many different breeds represented, there's a pet for every player. What a good old boy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> wow, we look so much alike. Ruff, ruff, bark. The resemblance is uncanny, just like Minecraft's armor. Ignoring color, the actual textures of each suit are fairly similar, with the exception of chain and netherite. So why not take it even further? Each could have its own unique style, from leather looking more like a cool cloak, to diamond looking fit for a king. And what's new armor without a new armor stand to place it on? Current stands are just sticks that honestly look too weak to hold up iron, let alone our heavy netherite armor. So these armor stands would change that, displaying your new duds in style while also coming in a host of new colors. Now, something that's annoyed me for the longest time is the fact that some blocks are restricted to this grid pattern. That's where using connected textures could really come in clutch. Finally, my very real diamond house will look just as epic as I imagined it. <gasps> it's glorious. This pack replaces those edged textures to make everything just a bit smoother. And in the case of glass, easier to see through. <laughs> hey, Carl! What? I can see you! Ah, privacy! <sighs> Ignoring that, I'm hungry. But with so many different foods in Minecraft, how's a guy supposed to know what to eat? Each food item has its own properties. And normally, looking at those items in your inventory doesn't do much for you unless you forget what something is called. With the icons pack, you can actually see the amount of saturation each meal will provide you, along with any effects from potions or enchantments, which can come in handy when you want to know if a poisonous potato is, well, the poisonous. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> Why do villagers look the way that they do with those silly Squidward faces? Oh, I don't know. Why do you look like an idiot? While I'm guessing that it's to avoid getting villagers confused for players, I think it'd still be cool to have these villages populated by players like Steve and Alex. That way, I can at least pretend like I've got some real friends. Hey, how's your day going, Alex? Buy my potatoes. <laughs> oh, so true, bestie. I miss my nose. Well, <laughs> be seeing ya. Uh, ah, uh, hey. Turn us back. Uh, don't know what you're talking about. Fine, then we'll just turn you into a villager. <laughs> Bring out the tank! Oh no! Wait, is that a Ravager? <laughs> They're usually a pretty intimidating foe on their own. But with this texture change, it looks like the Pillagers have decided to upgrade them to the max! So, it's a good thing I'm not alone! Ha! <laughs> I have one too! Well, ours is better! Yeah? Yeah! What's crazy? Of all the blocks in Minecraft to be animated, from magma blocks to crimson and warped stems, furnaces still look like this. Even Prismarine is more animated. And I didn't even notice until I looked it up. Well, now, thanks to the Furnaces Reimagined pack, we have a fix. Because on top of adding in a unique block model that's hollow on the inside, when smelting, its fire textures will now actually move around. Which is great when it's cold outside and you just want to cuddle up next to the fire on top of my beautifully retextured carpets. Carpets have always been a great way to add some personality to your home's floors. But there's only so much personality you can add with a solid color. That's why I think Minecraft should do something more similar to glazed terracotta and give us different patterns for each carpet color. You could get a classic cheetah print with orange, creeper faces with lime, or even skulk with cyan. And with a unique pattern for each color, there would be plenty of other customization possibilities. What the? Who could that be? An Enderman in a shoe? That's right, punk! We gonna race or what? What? <laughs> no. What are you? A chicken? I'll kill you! Uh oh <laughs> I'm catching up! <laughs> what the? These are just retextured boats? Yeah! Huh, that's neat. Now where were we? Oh, <laughs> right! <laughs> Minecraft is made up of 3D cubes, right? While it still kind of makes sense that the sun and moon are square, shouldn't they also be 3D cubes? Well, this is what we'd get if they were replaced. And while it definitely looks a bit off at first, I think I really like how they look, especially the different moon phases. I definitely prefer it to the rounder sun and moon that Minecraft had uh, originally considered. That just doesn't feel right. Kind of like how villagers are all able to wear different types of hats but I'm stuck standing over here with an empty head, forced to watch them with extreme jealousy. But all I have is this pumpkin. <gasps> Wait a minute, what if Minecraft just replaced the pumpkin texture with random hats? So many possibilities. I could be anything I want, like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Glad I killed that pig. A detective? Hmm, who killed this pig? Or even a judge! You killed that pig! <laughs> I'm guilty! Now, the Ender Dragon has been Minecraft's final boss for as long as I can remember, and hasn't seen a major visual change until now! Behold! This is what the Ender Dragon could look like! And with its much more threatening model and textures would come a host of awesome animations as well. Really makes it feel like the epic fight that it was always meant to be. Even so, I've killed this gal hundreds of times. I'm sure it'll still be just as easy as ever. What in the? Hey, what happened to the cool dragon? Ah, what's going on with my world? Why, it's the end of time. Ah, what did you do? I've infected the world with a texture pack 
that continues to devolve until eventually everything is just one pixel. No! But how will anyone know what blocks or items are? That's the point, dummy. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Oh, right. <laughs> What if you could just take all the flowers in the game and give them a makeover? Hmm, so how do you like your roses cut? Oh, I don't know. Surprise me. You got it. Wait, what are you? Hold still. Ah! And done. What do you think? Oh, I, I love it. <laughs> That's right. No more boring 2D textures for plants. With Cuban's flower pack, each and every one has a new 3D model, which really makes those flower forests pop. And along with these updated flowers would come 3D crops. Farms would look fuller than ever. And while crops like carrots, beets, and wheat all look great, they pale in comparison to the new melon and pumpkins. Just look at these guys. I can taste them already. Um, excuse me. Huh? Uh, yes? Did you just eat that? Uh, villager? But Potato? Uh, I guess this new pack changes villagers into crops? Huh. Are you even listening to me? Across the world, each biome would have its own special villager species, like carrots in the savanna and cactus in the desert. Even the wandering traders have turned to a life of vegetation. You got anything cool to trade, buddy? Uh, yeah, that tracks. My favorite thing, though, might be the zombified villagers, because they'll turn into poisoned crops with angry little faces. They're as cute as they are deadly. Now, while there are hundreds of blocks in Minecraft, it still bugs me that crafting tables are left looking like this. Boats, signs, and doors will all take on the color of the wood that's used to craft it. So why don't other blocks, like bookshelves, lanterns, and, well, crafting tables? Well, this pack could change that. Not only would these blocks now have textures for each wood type, including cherry and bamboo, but even other blocks, like campfires and barrels, would reflect their crafted materials. I'm practically drooling at the thought of all the building possibilities. And boats are another item that could use some retexturing. The only real issue I have with them, aside from the fact that we don't have bigger ones yet, is the fact that it's difficult to see what's directly underneath you. Well, thanks to this pack, we could have glass bottom boats. These would allow players to look deep below the waves for any buried treasures or ocean monuments while enjoying the beautiful scenery. Just do your best to avoid the reimagined guardians. Never before have these beasts of the sea looked so fish-like, updated with better animations and all. Honestly, this should be the new normal. The Elder Guardian 2 would get a facelift, and I think he's even more terrifying with his giant, wide-open eyeball. It's like he's staring into my very soul. <laughs> Die, you ugly eyeballs! I hate guardians! <laughs> uh... What? I was having a bad day! <laughs> Minecraft is magical, but it really does lack any sort of magic biome, which is weird. The closest we have is probably the dark forest, but outside of the giant mushrooms and rare illager mansions, it doesn't really scream magic. So what if we changed that? This pack would retexture allays that spawn in these biomes into pixies. It would also add in multiple variations for the classic mushrooms, including these little pixie houses. And mushrooms could now grow on top of logs to add some extra ambience. It it really makes finding illager mansions much more rewarding when you're able to rescue those rare pixie LAs. Almost as rewarding as finally getting your hands on that coveted elytra. You know, for how rare and powerful of an endgame item the elytra is, it's weird how boring it is. Uh, because unless you have a cape, you're stuck with the dull gray look. But now that we live in a post-armor trim world, why can't these wings of wonder be customizable too? We could glide on phantom wings, soar with a a trail of fire or buzz about like a bee. Especially with it eating up that armor slot, we're in desperate need of something else. Anything else. Uh, well, maybe not anything. These glass wings don't seem very stir. Uh, uh, ah! 
Achoo! Ah, darn it. Enchanted items in Minecraft don't look much different than normal, outside of their enchantment glint, which can be hard to see. So instead of that dull purple shine, let's get the full color spectrum into our hands. This pack will coat every enchanted item you own with rainbows, from tools and weapons to items and even armor. I feel invincible! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Although, while the rainbow enchantment glint is cool, imagine having unique textures for every enchanted tool and weapon. Their powers could actually be reflected in the textures, like spider eyes on your bane of arthropod's axe, or an emerald shine on your fortune pickaxe. Efficiency tools, I think I speak for everyone when I say we want customizable tools. And this just seems like a no-brainer. I need to flex my fortune muscles in front of angry Ned. You know, I'm not angry all the time! Ooh, ah! Look at these sweet money makers! I don't care! Oh yeah, brother! Get rich! I said I don't care! Yeah! Money! I love money! Ah! Even though diamonds are much more plentiful now, ever since 1.20, it's still easy to miss those precious gems. Though that's not the case with this 3D ores pack. It gives an extra layer of detail to each and every ore block in the game while also giving more depth to amethyst and both variants of obsidian. The real kicker though, these ores can also glow, meaning that you'd have to be blind as a warden to miss these treasures. <laughs> uh, no offense. Ores aren't the only blocks in need of more depth though, and this classic 3D resource pack is here to prove that. It adds extra detailed models to nearly every block in the game. Cobblestone and bricks will now pop out, while crafting tables have a 3D top and tools. Rails and ladders are more than a flat overlay, and books are nestled inside their shelves. It really makes Minecraft feel like more than a collection of flat textures, and completely elevates the game's visuals. Carved pumpkin are even fully hollowed out. Well, until they're lit, where you can see the actual torch placed within. Though, I don't know about you, but I often find myself double, sometimes triple checking which spawn eggs I'm grabbing when I'm in creative mode. It can be difficult to tell which mob the eggs are for at first glance, unless you've memorized them or read through each egg name. That's where this unique spawn eggs pack comes in handy. Now players will know for sure which mob they're getting simply by looking at the item itself. Each one's got its own cute little face too. And honestly, if Mojang is gonna go out of their way to change potion colors for better visibility, why not do the same for spawn eggs? Though I'm sure we can all agree that deserts are the most boring biome in Minecraft. At least visually. There's nothing but sand, dead bushes, and the occasional cactus for miles. And while deserts are known for being desolate wastelands, they don't all have to be. This pack takes what we already have in deserts and makes some simple tweaks to add even more variety. Cacti could be replaced with all these different variants, adding even more color, along with adding palm trees to make any wasteland feel more like an oasis. Even dead bushes get updated into these tumbleweeds. With these changes, I'm half tempted to make myself a desert resort. Ah, uh, what a beautiful day. Hey, bonks! Oh, hey, Crazy Carl. Love the palm tree! Uh, thanks, just don't- I'm gonna touch it! <laughs> It's still a retextured cactus. Well, it's no secret that animated textures help make the game feel more alive. And there are so many items that could be animated, but aren't. Imagine finding a diamond and then seeing it satisfyingly gleam in your hand. Or crafting an eye of ender, only to have it blink right at you. Honeycomb could drip, sniffer eggs could crack, we could have smoke coming off of blaze rods, or pufferfish dancing in a bucket. This animated items pack adds in all these and more, over 30 different items. And just because Minecraft is made up of blocks doesn't mean that it has to look like it's made up of blocks. Uh, what do I mean? This is what I mean. The Enhanced Vanilla Tea Pack aims to take the default look of Minecraft and smooth out the edges, resulting in seamless transitions between different block textures like dirt, grass, and sand, as well as different types of stone and brick. I really love how natural it makes everything feel, while still playing exactly the same. 
Though, if smoother edges aren't your thing, you could lean fully into Minecraft's more blocky side by making it even blockier! Introducing the Mine Bricks Pack. This will turn your entire world into a brick-built paradise. Combine this with the Shader Pack and the sharp plastic shine will make you feel like you're straight up living in a world made of Lego. Even all the mobs will look like they crawled right out of the toy box. Every block in the game is modified in the style, no matter where you go. Why, I'll bet I could build so much faster now. Woo! <laughs> all finished! And just in time for night. Ah! Ah, uh, the sounds of Minecraft. Now, while they've been updated over the years, they've remained pretty faithful to the original game. And while that's not a bad thing by any means, more varied sound effects could do wonders for immersing players in the game's world. And this pack adds in over 700 new sounds to do just that. Caves sound more dangerous than ever, with random sliding rocks and even creepier sounds. You could relax to the sounds of rivers flowing or wade through the cold howling winds. Dive deep to hear the sounds of the ocean, then surface to listen to the rushing waves. Most mobs have even had their sounds replaced to give them a more quality feel. And footsteps will sound more varied depending on the blocks you walk across. Though there's a sound better than any other. The sound of you clicking that subscribe button. Yeah! Subscribe!